Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and today we're going to be comparing the iPhone 7 versus the iPhone 10. Now, we don't usually see these two devices being compared to each other just because the iPhone 8 is a little bit more comparable to the 7. The iPhone 8, we're going to put aside for this video because it's using pretty much the exact same processor and everything inside as the iPhone 10 right here. Now, we're just going to run through a bunch of tests and apps and see which one actually performs better. So, if you guys don't already know, we're just going to pop Geekbench right up for both devices. And you guys will see that Geekbench, we have an A10 Fusion chip, a dual core processor running on the iPhone 7. Whereas over to the iPhone 10 here, we have the same processor and the same amount of RAM. So we have A11 Bionic. You guys pretty much know the whole deal. Now we just swipe out of this. And as you guys can tell that this device is running iOS 11.2 beta 4. Whereas this one is running the most recent build of iOS 11 right now, which is 0.2 we are back into the home screen and we're just going to start launching up a couple apps right here all right so before we begin the test we're going to make sure that everything is closed off in the multitasking switcher so we'll just double tap for this one and we'll close these off make sure everything is brand new on the iphone 10 we have the gesture base now so we'll just hold on and we'll just swipe up so now everything is closed off we're just going to launch up a couple third-party apps first and it will actually go to the stock apps right after so Starting with a third party app, we're gonna launch up Yahoo. So I'm gonna run through a couple of them and it will actually surprise you guys quite a bit and uh, you guys will see here why. So we'll go for speedtest.net. And we'll go to Twitter. And if you guys haven't already followed me on Twitter, do join and do follow me on Snapchat and Twitter. I do provide a bunch of sneak peeks for you guys before the video actually comes out. And that's where I'm going to be posting a lot of my wallpapers. We'll launch one more, do McDonald's. I'm actually really craving McDonald's right now, so let's jump out of here quick. So for third party apps, the clear winner goes to the iPhone 7. So it's really rare here. Maybe the apps just aren't optimized for the iPhone 10 just yet. But from what I can see, the iPhone 7 is actually like a second faster than the iPhone 10. Now this is the same goes to the iPhone 8 and I've tested this already on my iPhone 8 versus the iPhone 7. So I feel like it isn't just optimized for the iPhone 10, but it's unoptimized for the iPhone 8 as well. Now switch over. Let's start doing some stock apps. Start off with settings. Alright, so, so far it's a tie for this stock app test right here, whereas the third party test, the iPhone 7 actually takes the win. So we'll head into Safari now and we'll see which one does better in there. So we got a score of 190 milliseconds on the iPhone 7. So this is the response time of how quick your device is going to load up a specific website. Whereas the iPhone 10 does have a quicker response time of 157, but it's not that drastic compared to some older devices. However, these two are still pretty brand new and I feel like the iPhone 7 is still living up to iOS 11 right now. So, so of course, we're going to end this video off with a boot down and a boot up test. and. The iPhone 8 and the iPhone 10 that is actually known for its super quick boot down and boot up test. So we'll see how much quicker it is. So of course we'll hold the power button on both devices. And it's a little bit confusing on the iPhone 10 over here because you have to hold both buttons. But slide it off. So it's a little bit more difficult to tell if the iPhone 10 is actually booted off or not because of its new OLED display. Once it's black, it seems like it's completely turned off. Whereas the LCD actually has a tint of color on it but anyways both devices are booted off now so we'll just hold this and both of them are should be on at the exact same time 
so you guys can see how much quicker the iPhone 10 actually boots up it's unbelievable so it's not that the iPhone 7 is slow at all but the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 with this new bionic chip is just insanely quick so you guys can boot down and boot up your device no problem whatsoever and if you guys didn't see when it was booting up it's quite funny here but the new iPhone 10 just because of the borders being black at the front actually is now keeping the front splash screen for the Apple logo so if you guys haven't seen that I loaded up on the iPhone 7 over here with the white borders and actually continue to white into the background here whereas this one is now black but anyways this is it for this video guys this is not a very scientific test but I hope you guys can see what kind of comparisons or what kind of performance you're gonna get out of both devices and this is gonna better further educate you guys on which device is better to buy this should be it for this video peace out